Hey guys, welcome back to Bambi TV. Guys, we're gonna be checking out Alphabet Mafia. Can this ON destroy LGBTQ hypocrisy? Guys, let's get straight into this. So, a report from Wisconsin Department of Correction reveals that over 50% of male inmates identifying as transgender females in Wisconsin prisons have been convicted of at least one count of sexual assault, assault or sexual abuse. Out of 161 transgender identifying male inmates, 81 of them have been convicted of such offenses, including crimes like sexual exploitation of child, rape, and sexual intercourse without Whoa. consent. The Oversight Project at the Heritage Foundation obtained these records, and Director Mike Howell emphasized that men belong with men and men only in prison. He argued that housing sex offender men who claim to be women with female inmates is concerning and contributes to perceived moral decline. What do you have to say about this story? I mean, least surprising story ever. Um, I've been talking about this, and, and there's, there's a two-prong approach here. First and foremost, the advantage of a man, you commit a crime, you commit a sex crime, you molest a child, and you know how they treat pedophiles in prison, you know how they treat sexual deviants in prison. So you just say, actually, no, I'm transgendered. Uh, that's what's actually happening. Please put me amongst the women uh, inmates who uh, now need to accept, and the fact that the prisons are doing this. <laughs> They're acknowledging them and affirming them and that taxpayers are having to bear the expense. I can't even talk about how much that infuriates me. Um, the, but the second element of this is that there is what's not being spoken about, what's well, definitely being spoken about on my podcast is the growing alphabet mafia um, and how they are now adding letters that really just imply sexual deviancy. You know what I mean? Like a, a man feeling the need to put on panties, uh, a, a woman's underwear, and you're pretending that that's like a, a gender or an identity. Like perfect example, <laughs> Sam Brinton, the nuclear energy the White guy. House yep. person who literally was open about the fact that he was a sexual deviant. I mean, yep. wearing heels, lipsticks, into pup play, which if you look into what pup play actually is, you will be shocked at how disgusting it is. Um, you know, on a leash and still got the job. You know, you used to be fearful that if they Googled you and you'd find this stuff online, your employer, you couldn't get hired. <laughs> this guy got, right? Like, oh, oh, this guy. That used, to oh, be a, that, that used to be a disqualifier if you yeah. could find somebody naked and in straps and into pup play. Sam Britton just... Outwardly, I am a freak and flying my freak high. Gets the job at What's the White his House. What's job? He was a nuclear. He was head the nu head head of nuclear waste in the Energy Department. I gotta go. No, I, no, I promise yeah. you. I promise you. And then guess what happened? He's a club dog. He got arrested for three stealing. times for stealing women's panties at freaking at airports. The airport. That guy. Yes. Yeah, then, not I just one never, pair. Oh, can this suitcase full? I'm the calling other, BS. Can. Better, a guy like that would never do no, something like this. What are you talking about? What are you supposed to be surprised? I am shocked. Told you I'm a freak, and then I did some freaky things. Things, right, and that's what's too, happening bro. right now yeah. in this so this climate of non-binary. I'm a man, but I want to wear women's underwear and be free. They're telling you that something is wrong, yep. right? They are saying I am flying my freak flag high, and then we're all supposed to be shocked when they do something that's sexually deviant. I, I, yeah. And that it's mind-boggling to me. It's why I am that it is an issue that I care passionately about. I am a mother to young children. Why does a drag queen want access to a child? Can anybody can anybody answer that big question? Okay, you're a man and you like to dress up as a woman and go to nightclubs, mm -hmm. okay? Flying your free flag high. Now you're demanding access to read books to children. Mm -hmm. Does that not just, do we, do, can we does it pass the sniff test, guys? Yeah. You know? And then you have I women, wouldn't do women the out test there. With this one. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, it's, you know, it's really interesting. We're here. <laughs> we're queer. We're coming for <laughs> your children. children. You've yeah. heard this yeah. before. Yes. Uh, Let's no. all say it in but unison, guys, yeah. right? Yeah. I mean, and the, and it's the, scary. And, can, and here's my thing. Like, for instance, like, like you know, I, we have everybody here has freaking gay friends. I have gay family members. When it comes to, like, the Pride Month and everything, it's like, because you're talking about the, oh, the sexuality of it. It's like, when is it ever cool? Name another month or a day or a moment where it's cool for any group to walk Walk outside, butt naked, yeah. G-string, and I get that there's like people are bringing their kids, which I think they should, you know, go to jail. But when is it mm -hmm. ever cool for you to be in a bike, butt naked? Yeah, how, how, how is that? Literally, is that? if it I just, said, "Hey guys, tomorrow's family day. Okay, we're gonna have a family parade, and yes. we're gonna celebrate families." 
no person is showing up butt naked, right? Mm. It's it's no no family showing. Up. So well, you don't know there's Tom. something Tom about crazy. <laughs> Tom is get naked, get Tom. on a bicycle. Get, you know the men that were on bicycles, literally naked, right? But for some reason, when you say it's an LGBTQ pride parade, you know you're going to see nudity. What, what does that tell you? And people are fearful to talk about this, and it's it's crazy to me as a parent that we've allowed this to go so far. That we've allowed sexual deviancy to be perceived as an identity. Identity, you know, as you know, something that needs to be treated and loved. And who are the people behind saying we have a lot women? It's always women. Why don't why do women not see the ridiculousness? Yeah. And why aren't the women speaking out more about trans men in sports? Like why don't it, well because those women are, aren't those are feminists. Those are the Chelsea Handlers, right? And so that that's a whole different simulation. It's the moms at home are not the ones yeah. that are pushing that. You what know? percentage of women under thirty, best guess, do you think fall into that? type of ideology like feminist yeah like the, they love chelsea handler they're cool with this they're cool with men being in sports difference if you're talking like early 20s versus end of 20s i'm saying i'm saying gen z let's talk about that 25 and under that's the future mm -hmm. this is who we're trying to convince not to go down this path uh, you, you want a percentage I, that's is what that i'm what getting well, I know that you've highlighted that yeah. twenty percent of Gen Z identifies LGBT. I, it, but I mean, look, look, here's a, here's a mayor in Burbank. Though. He's an Armenian mayor. Okay, this guy in the classroom, he's having this guy spank him. Check this out. This is the Burbank. <laughs> this is the Burbank mayor. The, the music. Whoa, might be. That's the Burbank what? mayor. That's doing this. Pride, what? proud, love yeah. is love. I mean, she's pro she's a strong warrior. And he's like, "What's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with." Some of the craziest tweets came out about this what? guy, which is <laughs> absolutely <laughs> wild. When you see the GUSD folks posted his uh, tweets. Oh my god! Constantine Anthony out of Burbank doing this. By the way, uh, here's Oklahoma Elementary School faces calls for uh, firing a drag queen principal. Mm. The principal in Oklahoma is a drag queen. Can you please pull this up picture for us? Pull this picture up for us to see it. Oh. So, Calls to fire drag queen principal Shane Mernon, yeah. also known as Chantel Mandalay. Yeah, yeah, as, as, as a drag queen, as a drag, which but is then scary. also pr previously was arrested on child porn. Oh, Twenty years ago, 20, yep. yeah, and yep. got and basically got away with it because of a technicality. I looked into this case technicality because they found what was clear to. One judge and another judge was child porn, but then when they brought the trial forth, they couldn't identify the child. And so basically they were like, you can't prove this is actually a child, right? So they had to drop, Stop. I swear, yeah. because you have to be able to prove. So if I say that this is a child, even if it's abundantly clear to all of us this is a child, you have to be able to prove that, right? So it was clear enough that they arrested, they arrested him. It was clear enough that a judge said this arrest holds. And then another wow. judge said, you actually have to be able to say who that child, like we have to be able to say that person is actually a minor. And they weren't able to do this. So so the charges got dropped on a technicality, right? So he gets this expunged from his record, and then he somehow gets voted in a private ceremony. The 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 they came together, no parents were there, and they they made him principal years oh, twenty years God. later. Child arrested for child porn Pornography. charges. Yeah. What and, city in Oklahoma? Because if and this now goes he down to be in, in front of children, if this uh, goes down in LA, you know? San Francisco, no. and okay. yeah. a drag queen. Oklahoma. And, and Rob, can you show the photo? Can, can we just all be completely honest? And all the viewers out there, look how scary <laughs> drag queens are. Like, like some people have like a clown phobia. Look how scary that guy is right there. Yeah. Look at look. Zoom in on the guy on the right. What that looks like? Like the penguin from There's from Batman. There's worse pictures, yeah. by the way. Those, yeah. yeah, but they're scary. Like yeah. it's scary. Nothing You're not like somebody who was arrested for Whoa. child pornography. Demanding access to elementary school children, and they're and they're cool with it, and they're cool. Uh, well, they're I don't think I don't think anymore because no, the story got exposed. Cool and now, no, not the, Oklahoma. If you I don't know if you know this, is actually the reddest state in the union. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah so, West Virginia, Oklahoma, yeah, Alabama. Oklahoma's those three. Number one, the most the most the reddest state in the union. Is Boomer Oklahoma. Sooners. But Pat, what you in L.A.? There's a story about uh, California. How, how did he transition? Bro? So in California. Um, which Here it is. is. California passes bill punishing parents who don't affirm Tom, such a trans side. kids in custody battles. Okay, so if you don't cool. affirm kids in custody battles, uh, Elon called it other madness. California State Assembly passed AB 957, which mandates that judges in child custody cases consider whether a parent has affirmed a child's transgender identity. An amendment in June broadened the requirement stating the that the parents must affirm their child's gender identity to be deemed suitable... Okay, for no. the child's welfare in court, to which um, critics like Elon Musk, we know what happened with one of his billion children, 
um, strongly criticized the bill. Musk described it as utter madness and warned it could jeopardize parental custody if parents disagree with their child's transgender identity. So now California is like penalizing people if they don't affirm a kid's transgender transition. Have you seen, have you familiar I, with this? I, yeah, I'm familiar with this. And, and what I've said is that I've stopped being outraged at California stories. It's like, to me, it's like, if you're still a parent and you're raising your kid in California, outside of like, you quite literally have no money and cannot leave the state, I, I, I can't sympathize with you anymore. I mean, I, I can't, I literally can't sympathize anymore. It's gotten so crazy there. Yeah. The, the policies that they're putting forth, that they're able to push through, they're telling you, I mean, that is a, it's basically a communist state at this Whoa. point, that people are basically watching North Korea be built around them under the most extreme circumstances and they're staying there and then they're going oh my god I can't believe this is happening it's like California has showed you what California is it is time to pick up your children and leave California the state owns your children already in a, in a variety of different ways they're there it, it, it doesn't it's ending with transgenderism this has been going on for a very long time you saw this with COVID they, they want to put shots in your child's arm you have no rights in California so I am now removing your right to complain Plane if you are if you are still living yeah. in the state of California. Well, you can also ski and surf on the same day. Yeah, <laughs> that's. I, I love how so. people complain about everything, kids, when it comes to Cali, the traffic, that, and they're just like, yeah, but the weather. The I'm weather. like, it's not worth it. Yeah. I really sweat my ass. The off weather here. in North Korea is just you know wonderful. I mean? and, and yeah. <laughs> Like, summer in North oh, Korea? You haven't, Pyongyang? Seen the you haven't been to Pyongyang this yeah. summer. Have, have you, you seen a North Korean yeah. sunset? Oh yeah. my God. <laughs> I the winter best. in Pyongyang yeah. and, and, and I and summer so in the Hamptons. So here's my question to kind of wrap up all the so the feminism, the the women, the the, the making men weak, right? The the going after the kids, the trans thing, the going after, like is it a concerted effort by like when you hear like the Klaus and and uh the Bill Gates where they're like, listen, overpopulation is is, is, is the biggest problem. Is it an accident or are these guys just openly telling us because all those people that we talked about, they're not having children. Yeah. The trans, you know what I mean? The the, the weak men, they don't want to have kids anymore. The, the feminists are like, we don't need men. Is it by accident or is it an effort to really slow down the, the, the population? Like, is it, a, is it a deeper thing? I think America's at war. Mm -hmm. I think America is at war. I think that people always thought World War III would be something like World War II. People would be dropping nukes. And no, I think it's it's a silent war. It's an ideological war. Um, I believe that there is a globalized effort to yeah. take down America from within. And people realizing after years, China is a huge part of this effort. Yep. That you could take over America without firing a single, bu single bullet. And it, be, it begins and ends with culture. And that's why I, I believe that culture is the biggest battle that we're facing right now. Sick. And TikTok really helps there. Mm -hmm. I don't their think. Uh, uh, by the way, I think that 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 fight, uh, the Why feminist fight, is, TikTok, is coming to an end yeah. because the Thank product God. is showing. Thank God. Common sense is winning, and data is winning, proving that this is not working. And there's more 60 year old women right now talking about the biggest mistake they made is buying into being a feminist. They can no longer have kids. They wish they were married. They wish they would have done this. Guys, I it's, wish you were right. I really do. But I spend probably more time than anyone here with old? women under 30. <laughs> yeah. And I, I, I say, guys, what do you think about this? What do you think about this? Dude, these 25 and under women, they, they are so far gone. Dude, and that's know. the future. I wish you were right. You know, you know what it is uh, for, for you to say that? You also contribute towards it, though, because uh, think about You're it. You're blaming me? No, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not blaming you. Sorry, lady. No, no, yeah, I'm, not, ahead, I'm not blaming you. There's an element of it that even, you know, wh whatever you want to change, you have to look at it in a different way and not capitalize off what's out there. You have to eventually, when I was, all I did was women from you know 14 to 25 that was my number one priority and i'm like listen that's all i want to do 26 times a year i'm in vegas i was a four hour drive away from vegas and vegas the opportunity for prospecting was priceless on what it was this is pre tinder days i have no clue what it is to swipe right you have to actually go talk and prospect like that was work yep. like it takes work <laughs> of going in and networking and meeting money. and a friend and this and then eventually to go versus today it's a dm boom you're working your numbers 100 messages boom let's go at six o'clock then you got one at eight then you got one at ten i don't know that system but it's a completely different ball game i think it's also an element of you know us as men we need to also kind of challenge the status quo and tell them we're not attracted to this this is not attractive anymore right i don't know what you're doing you think this is attractive we're also not turned on by this i think we can also play a role in that but that's a whole different conversation i feel countries is like when you talk about culture in america because it's it's just there because, because when you hear about this kind of traditional acts like you think about it 
I really don't see it in other parts of the world because if you look at, let's say, let's call a continent Africa, like you really don't see this kind of stupid things there. Yes, I will use the word stupid, but like the culture is, there are some things you just can't do because of the way you'll be looked at or your family is going to go down for it. Like you just can't do it based on the fact that you have a family and almost everybody around you know your family so you really don't have to put, bring shame to them but there are, i'm not saying there are no gays lesbians not, i'm not saying there are no you kind of people are there but like they do it in secret like that's how it has been from the test of time like if you have this kind of feeling some people call it a disorder but like if you have a kind of feeling it's something you do in secret or so i i, I feel if you have this kind of things better for you to go where it's practiced I feel that's why US is accommodating more people who are, I would say, weak. And I, I believe if you follow your feelings, you are not really strong because I believe you have to do the right thing despite of what you feel. But well, most times you feel this way and you check it, it's actually the wrong way. Is that you're actually going the wrong route? So I believe you have to do what is right for you to actually prosper and feel happy because delayed gratification. That's what it's called. Guys, don't just like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.